O Son of Justice, Jesus Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts till your blessed light makes nighttime flee and brings the joys your day imparts. In this our time acceptable, touch every heart with sorrow, Lord, that turn from sin renewed by grace. We may press on towards love's reward. The day your day in beauty dawns, when in your light earth blooms anew, led back again to life's true way. We may forgive and rejoice in you. Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, God, in accord with your merciful love. In your abundant compassion, blot out my transgressions. Thoroughly wash away my guilt, and from my sin cleanse me. For I know my transgressions. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. I have done what is evil in your eyes, so that you are just in your word and without reproach in your judgment. Behold, I was born in guilt. In sin, my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire true sincerity, and secretly you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me with hyssop, that I may be pure. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. You will let me hear gladness and joy. The bones you have crushed will rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins. Blot out all my iniquities. A clean heart create for me, O God. Renew within me a steadfast spirit. Do not drive me from before your face nor take from me your Holy Spirit. Restore me to the gladness of your salvation. Uphold me with a winning spirit. I will teach the wicked your ways, that sinners may return to you. shall be brighter than the snow, for my soul is longing for your presence, Lord, and my broken heart you And 
I shall be brighter than the snow. Wash me, cleanse me, and I shall be brighter than the snow. Ash to ash, dust to dust, everything returning to your heart. You are always merciful and gracious, Lord, slow to anger, just and kind. O Lord, please wash me, cleanse me, and I shall be brighter than the snow. Wash me, cleanse me, and I shall be brighter than the snow. Yet a day to you is as a thousand years, and a thousand years a day. O Lord, please wash me, cleanse me, and I shall be brighter than the snow. shall be brighter than the snow. Hear me, spare me, do not face me suddenly with death. Give me grace to heal my sin and ignorance, and the time to change my heart. shall be brighter than the snow. Wash me, cleanse me, and I shall be brighter than the snow. A reading from the first letter of John. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched. This we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared. We have seen it and testify to it. And we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the faith. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not, win 
not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Please join in singing the psalm found in the Blue Gather, 57, My Soul is Thirsting, 5-7. My soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting for you. My soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you. my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. For you have been my help, you shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you, your right hand holds me firm. In the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul is thirsty. My soul is thirsting, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Please 
Repentance by George Herbert. Lord, I confess my sin is great. Great is my sin. O oh, gently treat with your quick flower, your momentary bloom, whose life still passing is one undressing, a steady aiming at the tomb. Man's age is two hours' work or three. Each day does round about us see. Thus are we to delights, but we all to sorrows old, if like be told, from what life feels of Adam's fall. O oh, let your heart height of mercy then, compassionate, short-breathed man, Cut me not off for my most foul transgressions. I do confess my foolishness. May God accept my confession. Sweet, sweeten at length this bitter bowl, which you have poured into my soul. Your wormwood turned to health, winds to fair weather. For you stay, I in this day, as we did rise, we die together. When you for sin rebu re rebuke each man, forthwith he waxes wool and wan. Bitterness fills our bowels, and all our hearts pine and decay and drop away and carry with them the or other parts. But you will sin and grief destroy, that so the broken bones may joy, and tune together in a well-set song, full of his praises, who dead men raises. Fractures well cured make us more strong. Lamb of God, most holy, who on the cross didst
Saints are indicated in religious art by the halos painted around their heads. This isn't just a useful means of pointing out the holy people, but a means of suggesting the radiance which emanates from people living lives of love and forgiveness. There is something transfiguring about forgiveness. By pulling the plug on the well of hatred and revenge in ourselves, whether it be toward people close to us or some distant enemy or a general category of people we find distasteful. We allow our lives to become vessels of the love that God is pouring out for everyone. And that shows. In the subdued light of the Linton city, forgiveness brightens our path. Forgiveness can be a terrible, difficult choice to make, and yet it happens, sometimes even on a big scale. In 1944, the Russian poet Yevgeny Yevgenchenko went with his mother to watch a procession of 20,000 German prisoners of war. The pavement swarmed with onlookers, courted off by soldiers and police. The crowd was mostly women, Russian women, with hands roughened by hard work, lips untouched by lipstick, and with thin hunched shoulders, which borne half the burden of the war. Every one of them must have had a father or a husband or a brother or a son killed by the Germans. They gazed with hatred in the direction from which the column was to appear. At last, we saw it. The generals marched at the head, massive chins struck out, lips, licks, lips folded disdainfully. Their whole demeanor meant to show superiority over their plebeian victors. They smell of perfume, the bastards, someone in the crowd said with hatred. The women were clenching their fists. The soldiers and policemen had all they could do to hold them back. All at once, something happened to them. They saw German sh soldiers, thin, unshaven, wearing dirty, blood-stained bandages, hobbling on crutches, or leaning on the shoulders of their comrades. The soldiers walked with their heads down. The street became dead silent. The only sound was the shuffling of boots and the thumping of crutches. Then I saw an elderly woman in a broken down boots pushed herself forward and touch a policeman's, sh soldier, sh policeman's shoulder saying, let me through. There must have been something about her that made him step aside. She went up to the column, took from her coat something wrapped in a colored handkerchief, and unfolded it. It was a crust of black bread. She pushed it awkwardly into the pocket of the soldier, so exhausted that he was tottering on his feet. And now from every side, women were running toward the soldiers, pushing into their hands bread, cigarettes, whatever they had. The soldiers were no longer enemies. They were people.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you opened the eyes of the blind, healed the sick, forgave a sinful woman, and after Peter's denial, confirmed him in your love. Listen to my prayer. Forgive all my sins. Renew your love in my heart. Help me to live in perfect unity with my fellow Christians, that I may proclaim your saving power to all the world. Please join in singing the closing hymn found in the Blue Gather, 430, Be Not Afraid, 430. the barren desert we shall not die of thirst 
You should wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and Blessed are you that we 